you are looking at the GeoGebra, the classic version, as you see here. Uh, I will open new uh, version of this one to tell you how you do it. So when you are in your browser, you just use this address and um, get very quickly into this environment where um, you can create many geometrical objects and study relationships between them. I will type in uh, linear equation in uh, the slope y-intercept format. So slope a times x plus b and uh, press enter. And we can see that uh, automatically the slider for slope is created. So we can change the slope of our uh, straight line, the graph of a linear equation, and we can also move uh, the y-intercept and play with that. So very quickly you get some uh, hands-on experience uh, how such a uh, function translates to this graph. We can also look into uh, settings and uh, we can name the function as we wish we can color, for example, have it red, and uh, style, if you like to have it thicker, and also maybe the style. I will leave it solid for now, and that's pretty much it. So let's just um, add one more. We can say again y equals c for slope times x plus D for y-intercept and again you see um, automatically created sliders now we can move the slider to some different position than the first also we can give it some different look by settings and um, this color maybe green and it looks all oh, very pretty and um, as a bonus to this, I will show you, let's put it somewhere here. We can even zoom by scrolling. Uh, and uh, you can use here at the bottom the plus sign, minus sign, or go home. It gives you some basic uh, setting for the objects on the screen. So I will zoom in uh, to see a little bit better what's happening here at the uh, intersection of those two equations. That means this is the solution when you solve two equations um, with two unknowns. And um, that means we can calculate the x component and y component of this point, or just click here, select the point, and click somewhere here. Just be close enough, it will uh, create A. Uh, the A is uh, by definition intersection of f and g functions. That means those two linear equations. Just plug in those two the numbers for the slopes and y-intercept and you can solve it. And once you do that, uh, you will find this point. But how do we find the solution here? Just click and find in settings this option show name and value. And immediately you see value 1, 3. That looks a little bit wrong, right? 1, 3. Let's zoom out. 3 is over here. 1 is over here. So 1, 3, it's uh, this point. So this is looking like uh, GeoGebra is not working. Uh, the explanation is that this number is rounded to one significant figure. So let's uh, actually add some decimal. Uh, decimals to this. So click uh, at the wheel and uh, rounding. Zero decimals places, not good, but we can place three and we get amazing, nice, accurate result. Of course, when you zoom in, you would maybe like more decimal points. Always you can choose up to 13 significant figures. That's pretty impressive. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.